Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back. It's God's Vision. And first, I want to address, like, or at least bring to the table, talk about what I was thinking about yesterday. Because what I just saw today on TikTok, you know, um, somebody was like, I can't believe I have to work a nine to five just to pay to eat, pay to have a roof over my head and um, pay to something else that was like a basic need. And somebody in the comments in their comments said, sorry, sweetie, or sorry, sweetheart, or something, some, some bullshit, but welcome to adulting. <laughs> so it's like, you know what? I had to press record real quick because um, now what I was thinking yesterday was, so yesterday as I'm recording is, is Sunday was Sunday and for a whole year y'all know this for a whole year I didn't have a job and that was on purpose it was on purpose and I feel like it fulfilled its purpose um I'm just at a point now in my life that um like I just have to get a job like just that's just where I am in life so it's just like about accepting where I am in life but also knowing that you know I don't always want to be here so it's like I got something to work for and you know but that's that's just a whole nother thing <laughs> that's just a whole nother thing but so I have a job now and I've had this job I think I'm going on my third week so this is going off the second week and my body is still adjusting to the schedule, being on a schedule. And that already right there pisses me off because it's like, <sighs> there's just so much wrong with this, you know. And there's so much also with it that don't have to be wrong. But because of how deep it goes, it becomes wrong. Like, being on a schedule or having to be at a place at a certain time, that, like, on its own is okay. But when you start adding the factors of you don't get like the minimum, like the wage does not meet the labor, does not meet the time, energy and sacrifice that you're putting into this shit. It does not meet what you have to deal with when you're there, you know, your co-workers, the manager and the customers. Um like you really it's like it's like a very circumstantial situation it's not even like a schedule of like something that you cool with having you know because you enjoy being there it's a schedule like i don't know some like jobs always reminded me of school like <clears throat> just because of like how it's structured how it's set up how it feels the shit that you have to deal with you know the fact that there are variables you can't control and that's the shit that I don't fucking, like, fuck with. I don't like the fact. And, and this is not a talk about control. Once again, this is just a talk about, like, my choice in it. Like, I feel like when it comes to shit like this, it feels like there's no choice because it's like you have to eat. You have to have a roof over your head, you know. you You don't know what could happen today you don't know what could happen tomorrow you know um you got people to feed you got people to take care of you know you got yourself to take care of and then on top of that we human like we want to break so we buy things like for our vices or like a vacation or some shit you know what i'm saying like then you got the car then you got bills you know what i'm saying so it's like And then if you are a parent, you have kids. So, but that was a part of mouths to feed and shit like that. But anyway, the point of the matter is it just feels like there's just no choice. That's where I'm really touching on. Like, this shit has nothing to do with control. Because like I said, so many things in in and of itself, like by itself, it's okay. Like... Let's say something is of circumstance. It's, it's like a very situational thing. Like something you need to get from point A to point B. Like this is just a really a matter of like where you are in life, right? And what's around you, what's available to you. And that in and of itself is cool. But because of how deep it goes, it's not cool. Because it's like 
people work hella fucking hours being somewhere where their energy is being fucking drained just to get like little ass fucking amounts of money like that shit is not cool like that shit is not cool and people be like oh welcome to adulting like no nah, like do you like people are just so like people who say that i feel like you're settling like when you be like oh this is just a part of being an adult you just fucking settled because no being unhappy being stressed out being drained you know always just having to do something that deals with responsibility and it ain't even a real responsibility it's just what the government telling us to do you know so but that like I feel like this conversation I start talking everywhere because uh, once again of how deep it goes like there's just so many so much shit that's just wrong with this and I don't fucking like it you know like I like the whole concept of you know you somebody building a business right and then they assign roles to people and that way these people are helping your business out and you're helping them out by you know funding them so they can get to point a to point b wherever they want to go in life you know not everybody wants to have a business or be an entrepreneur just anywhere you want to go to life like you're paying them so they can meet that you know and then if we want to take it further of how the world should be we we on that path right let's add in the fact that we don't have to pay for our basic fucking needs food water and shelter and we need to start fucking adding transportation to that shit i don't give a fuck like i don't care (laughs) i don't care transportation also gotta be a basic fucking need but um but yeah, though. <laughs> Shit. Food, water, shelter. And I'm going to say clothes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going on and on now. <laughs> no, because it's like, <clears throat> this shouldn't be a fucking discussion. I feel like a lot of, like, a lot of the world's, like, social issues or, nah, let me say, like, you know, I don't know what food, water, and shelter, what category that is under, but like a lot of the world fill in the blank issues could be solved. Like, stop at the fingers, bro. Like, all this talk about food, water, shelter, and protection, world is getting dangerous out there, you know? And once again, like, people feel like they got no choice. Like, I gotta work. The world is fucking dangerous out there. I don't know when my, you know what I'm saying? But you got to take that risk just to get fucking crumbs. And I feel like it should be the other way around. Like, if you're going to get to give something your time and energy, you're going to pitch in, you're going to support it. I feel like you should get something out of that. You know, I feel like you should have the, the energy for yourself. People go back home, go back to their personal life and no longer have energy for themselves. You know, like they don't they don't pour what they just poured into this corporation into themselves i feel like this shit backward as fuck like if anything like if anything if we have to pick a side i want to pick the side of where i'm pouring into myself like the fuck like at least (laughs) at least like something is being replenished around here because it's like if you keep pouring into something that's just giving you crumbs you're just gonna end up feeling drained that's just what it is like that's there's no if ands or buts about it You know, if it's not coming back to you, like basically you're giving away something that is just like flopping. It's like falling on dead fucking ears. But like in in life, like there's no input and output. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Like, anyway, so, yeah, I was just thinking yesterday, like, the f- I was just thinking about, oh, let me check my schedule when I have to go in. I'm looking at my schedule. I'm thinking about, like, when I got to sleep. I don't know. Like, me personally, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I believe and think. But it should be, like, we wake up and go to sleep whenever we want to. I feel like listen to your body 
you know, and I, f- I feel like the more balanced you are, the more like your body is going to get into balance. So, but until then, I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of the world first should be intuitive. It's very conditioned. It's very programmed. Like you're told, do this, that, and the third. The thing, like one fucking issue I have with the school system and the job system is this fucking plan, this traditional ass fucking plan that, you know, they want people to go on. School, college, have a job, uh, get married, have kids, retire, and die. Like, <clears throat> but as you can see, life is cyclical. Life goes anyway. People want to do different things. One size does not fit all, bro. One size does not fit all. And they trick people. They trick people by telling them, like, oh, it's a one in a million chance you're going to achieve your dreams. And y'all know what I say. I mean, check my fucking website. Check my quote in my fucking description on YouTube. Y'all know what I say about that. That it's not a one in a million chance that we will make it. In fact, we are one of the million that will make our dreams come true. My quote go along those lines. I'm high right now. But look, Y'all get what I'm saying. I even made a whole video about it. I put it in the description box and everything, y'all. Like, I really wholeheartedly believe that. I really believe that we are the piece to the puzzle. Like, we are part, like, I mean, just think about a puzzle and how many pieces there are. And to make that puzzle complete, all the puzzle pieces have to be there. You know, even if one puzzle piece is missing, you're going to be fucking searching. You're going to be checking the couch and shit under the couch, in the bed. You know, did it fall on the floor? Looking for that puzzle piece because it's like, even if the the picture is almost complete, only got one more missing, you still going to try to find that one missing piece. And that's just how it is in the world. You know, that's what alignment is about. And a lot of people are out of alignment. You know, we're missing a lot of pieces to the puzzle. Because we got to pour into somebody else's alignment, somebody else's path, you know. And when I start talking like this, this is where people start purposely trying to misconstrue shit, thinking I'm talking about being selfish or something. I'm not talking about being selfish. I'm talking about being in alignment. I'm talking about making sure you good first. (laughs) You know, or think about like playing a game like. In a game, there's positions. You too busy trying to pay, play somebody else's position. In the meantime, who's playing your position? Like, who are we going to pass the ball to? Like, where'd you go? I feel like I'm rambling here, but just keep up with me, y'all. We running here. <laughs> we running. It's like being on a team, just any team, whether it's a sports team, a business team, even friendship, even family, like there's roles to play. And when one is missing, you're going to feel that. You're going to notice the value of that. Well, depending. See, this is where we get to technicalities and nuances and shit. But but that's if you're in alignment, right? And one is missing, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that. It's like a superhero team. And it's like, I mean, yeah, we got the strength factor here. We got the person who can, you know, be flexible and shit. But we're missing the the fast one. You know, we're missing the calculator one. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's roles to play. And that right there, like, because... We got to pour into other people's alignments or there's one set traditional path laid out for us. Um, That's like step one already to being miserable. You know, and then you got to spend your energy somewhere for like eight hours just to get crumbs back, man. People be dealing with work drama. (laughs) And still be getting crumbs like something like something is off and pe- and people just say like oh that's adulting oh 
nah, like, do you realize how a lot of your autonomy and your choice is taken away from you? There should be more variables <laughs> in a situation like this to, co- to control. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck how you take what I'm saying. There should be more things I have a control over, th- like a choice over. There should be more things that, like, I should be getting out of this because of how much I'm putting into it. You know, it's just not it's not cool. And this is why people say, like, the school system, uh, like, um, college system jobs is a scam you know the prison system like all these shit is a scam because it is yo it is people be going to fucking college first of all a lot of people don't even know what they want to fucking do because back in grade school k through 12 you removed a lot of the kids choices already of choosing took a lot of the kids control over their life over their destiny you don't even fucking offer what school should offer like why is my why should a child be waking up early as fuck in the morning for fucking what to learn the same shit 12 years straight and here and there make it more advanced but not really And don't get me started on the extracurricular activities where where it's either athletics or math and science. Like, creative programs are barely funded. People who think differently, you know, y'all want to call them these labels and shit but it's just like people we just different we think differently there's no like programs or classes or courses you know people who are spiritual like learning about spiritual topics at a young age so a child could be prepared like y'all just throw us to the wolves when we 18 when it comes to like life and like what this fucking government has structured out for for us. There's no tips, tricks, and advice that we're learning about the government throughout K-12. through And people are not learning, like, the spiritual part of life. That way, when we get thrown out to the wolves, at least we will have more tools at our, at our fucking disposal to use. But we don't. And then, and then don't get me started on, like, just people's individual lives. See, still right there, I was talking about a collective. But people, like, people individually doing, like, dealing with shit. Like, kids got shit going on at homes. They ain't got enough money. There's abuse going on there. One parent is out of the house, you know. Or, like, yeah, they got everything, but they shelter. They always kept that home. Their parents are fucking strict, you know, like. There's a lot of extremes, man, and that's just not normal. Like, living in extremes is just not normal. Like, no matter how you fucking look at it, like. Someone is living at an, at an extreme one way or another, or another. Like, that shit is just not fucking cool. Like, the world deserves to be out of balance. And then you got to spend all this money when you get to college. And then it's like, you know, by all terms, I'll be considered a college dropout. I don't consider myself that because I don't give a fuck about college. I have to give a fuck about it to be considered a college dropout. But I am, but I only attended college for like three months and I'm like, fuck that shit. Because one size does not fit all. And also, like, the way I was thinking, too, like, practically was that, Not only am I not feeling this shit, but I also don't know what to do if, like, somebody was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to go. Like, I still wouldn't know what I want to do yet. Like, I feel like I still be all over the place trying this, trying that. And I'm at the age where, like, and not even, I don't even think it's an age thing, you know? Like, I just have that 
personality type and for me to give you my hard earned money and my time energy attention like it has to be worth it like I have to know what I want to do I have to know like this is what I'm set out on doing so it's like I don't I'm not about to like you know stress myself out going somewhere where personally I don't want to be there and practically it just don't fucking make sense so um but yeah though like people there's people out there who still go for those reasons because like they have mouths to feed or this is what their family expects of them or this is what society is saying that they should do you know and if they don't do any of those things then you just don't fucking belong here this is when they start outcasting you this is when they start like fucking labeling you and then on top of that labeling shit that you're not like, you're not even that. Like, if you're going to label me, label me the correct shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so like I said, like, once again, that goes back to, you know, this world is removing, not is removing, been removing a lot of our control of our own, our own life, our choices. And people fucking settle, like, oh, that's just the way life is. That's the way life has always been. That's, um adulting you know welcome to adulthood you know and it's just like nah bro like you're fucking miserable you know i feel like if you're gonna smoke and drink smoke and drink because you want to not because of no fucking stress the fucking government is giving you but that's just my fucking opinion and it's just like people fucking settle people give up because this is how life has always been, quote unquote. Nah, fuck that. You know, you always fight. Always fight, man. Don't give up because this shit is not not right. Like No. No, like do you know how much of your spiritual autonomy you're giving up by being in environments and doing things you don't really want to do every fucking day, you know, like, I don't think that's good spiritually, that's not good emotionally, mentally, like, this year, for like, I'll say three weeks, I couldn't fucking handle that shit, y'all, um, I worked at a call center, and I worked a lot of jobs, and, um, I don't know. I just be like in my head when people be like, oh, I've been at this job for like five years, 20 years. And I'm just like, whoa, like I'm thinking about quitting right now. And there's no judgment. Like I said, like it's because of like how life is fucking structured for us. The way they structure life for us, should I say, because I don't believe life is structured this way. I feel like I feel like that's why when people set out to find their way, they end up finding their way because that's what life is about. That's what we can, you know, we're a piece of a puzzle. So when we set out to be that, I feel like we're going to find our place in the world. But anyway, (laughs) let me reel it back in. You know, I don't know, y'all. I forgot what I was talking about anyway. But the point of the matter is... When I see shit like that, it's just cringy to me. Like, I just, it's something that I cannot accept. Like, your spiritual autonomy that you're giving up. You know, you saying, you you letting people define your path. I mean, it's up to the point where you let, y'all let people, y'all give people the choice of, you know, how your style should be. You know, you don't want to express yourself because of being judged like that's what i'm saying like a lot of our our choice is being taken away whether we're giving it away or whether like it's forced away you know like where would you want look how you want to look like who gives a fuck about conventional beauty or like what's trending or what's fashionable right now like who like literally who gives a fuck and it, and it's sad that you know, people give a fuck, and people have given a fuck for so long, like, about shit that, if you look at it at its root, don't even need to be a problem, you know, 
racial issue shouldn't be a problem, how your hair looks shouldn't be a problem, what your job is shouldn't be a problem, not wanting a fucking job shouldn't be a problem. Like, come on, man. So I was thinking yesterday, I don't even think I finished that point, my bad, y'all, but I was just thinking yesterday that, um, I, it's I think it like two things can be true. I think you could be responsible and on your shit, but like on your own schedule. I feel like those two things can be possible. You know, the minute you're not abiding by what the government has structured out for us, you're called lazy, irresponsible, a wanderer, lost. And that's just not fucking cool. Once again, like being labeled shit that we're not like, I'm not fucking lazy. I just know that I'm not fucking doing this shit, (laughs) period. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And there's and there's more reasons than one why I want to. And, And it's deep. It's deep. I'll argue down like, no, I'm not. It makes me unhappy. And then it gives me crumbs on top of that. Like. No, I know my worth. I've always known my worth. But for a minute there, I lost I lost my way. I started almost giving in. Conforming. But then it's like, I can't even conform even if I try. I'm not fucking doing that shit. You know? But right now... The only thing that, you know, I'm I'm waving the white flag to right now is just having a job just because of where I am and that, like, I need some things right now. So let me just get this job. But this time I made it so, like, I have more control of where I was applying to. Like, yo, like, I was, like, under no way, shape or form am I getting a food service job, a retail job. Like, that was, like, top of my list. So I, I didn't give a fuck about who was calling my phone or whatever the fuck. Like, no, it's a no. So right now I have a job that, you know, I could deal with, I could tolerate, but already off the bat, like, there's just shit that's there that is like, I wouldn't say not pissing me off. Like, it pissed me off, but I don't care about that. So I'm not pissed off no more. It's just more of like, I don't want to deal m- with more of this shit that just pissed me off. Does that make sense? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want this to be, like, a constant thing. And then already, like, how I already told you how I felt about being on the schedule. Basically, like, what I'm just saying is, like, we should be able to do what we want to do and and be happy with that. And then we should, like... And if we want, make a living on on top of that. You know, we should be able to have that much of a choice. You know? Like, even where you want to live is a choice because it's like, it's depending on how much, how much it costs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got to pay for food. And then on top of that, pay for food that, that grow out of the ground. You know what I'm saying? So some shit that you could actually fucking grow in your backyard. Like, can you believe that? So it goes deep. It goes deep. And a lot of the world, like... Not, let me not say a lot of the world. Because I'm not even going to blame it on the world. I'm just going to blame it on the fucking structure. So I'm going to say a lot of society. A lot of society, you know, fuck this life shit up. Because this shit not cool. People who fucking pay money to go to college for four fucking years, stress themselves out because of deadlines and tests and quizzes and shit like that and having to buy something for a program, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, get out of fucking college and can't even fucking find a job in the field that they spent all that money and all that time studying for, you know? And if they do find a job, that job still buys them crumbs depending on, like, what they do and still I feel like once again like your work shouldn't be depending on what you do like in in comparison to others should I say 
Like, it shouldn't be dependent on if you're a man or a woman. It shouldn't be dependent on if society views this area of careers higher than this area of careers. You know, like, a lot of this society values left brain careers over right brain careers. And they're equal in their own right. So, if anything, it should be dependent on, once again, what you choose. Not what they choose for you. Like, who gives a fuck if you don't think right brain careers it has a lot of value? It, it fucking does. And if you don't see that as your fucking fault, like, who gives a fuck? You know? A lot of right brain programs need to be offered in schools. You know? And even if you don't, like, want to be in the right brain, you are more of a left brain person, like, just at least having um, something like an outlet or something that's, that is different, you know, make you more well-rounded, more open-minded, more, like, accepting of others and understanding of others and yourself as well. But a lot of that is ripped away. And also, I'm saying, like, this shit go deep. This shit go deep, man. A lot of people are in survival mode because of what society has structured and laid out for us for fucking years. And all of this was by force, was by manipulation, was by control, and was by what they deemed valuable. What they deemed important what they deemed a priority which all in all was anything dealing with themselves themselves or tying to themselves so you always get the short end of the stick you always fucking losing and I just don't think that's fair to live a life in which you feel like you're losing like no like that should be a basic fucking minimum You know, to feel proud of life, to feel like in appreciation, grateful, compassionate, understanding, like feeling those feelings instead of feelings of stress and guilt and shame and judgment. You know, there's no reason why I should feel a type of way about something I'm about to pour my energy to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm low-key not looking forward to going to the shift, and something is off about that. Like, and what's, and, and it's not even because of, like, me. Like, oh, I just feel bad this day. Like, I feel like I want to throw up or some shit. Like, nah, like, it's because of something that, if anything, I wouldn't even have to deal with because I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no matter what, like, I'm going to always fight because um, I feel like basic fucking minimum is to be happy, to be proud of the life you're living, to be content with it, and, like, but in a good way, like, satisfied, but in a good way. Not settling, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, able to, to breathe, not be in survival mode. Knowing that you can eat today and tomorrow and next week and next month. Knowing that you do have a roof over your head and it won't be taken away from you. The price won't go up. The gas won't go up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said transportation should be a fucking, like, should be considered a basic need. And if it is, that's what's up. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, gas is going up. They taking more money, like think, like shit is going up right now, and they already fucking pay you crumbs, y'all. Like, do you know what this means? They already pay you fucking crumbs. They already say you ain't shit. You only here to work for me. Give me the money. They know they just paying you because they have to. 
ain't even because they want to ain't even because they want to support you getting from a to b ain't even want to support you and if you actually know what you want to do in that time of your life you know what i'm saying like what you want to try they took a lot of like exploration and curiosity away from us and we consider that being an adult and we consider kids the one with the curiosity and exploration and it's like it shouldn't be like that i feel like that should be available to all just like discernment something that you learn more in your adult years i feel like discernment should be available to all too that's if spiritual programs and right brain programs were offered in grade school when the kids are growing up and they learn these things instead of being thrown to the wolves and then having to learn discernment intuition you know bullshit they have to get themselves into fucked up ass situations if it did not fucking start in childhood first to learn some shit that really should have been a tool already at their disposal so now I disagree with that. Welcome to adulthood or this is adulting. Like, fuck that bullshit, man. And I could go on and on. But I won't. So I'm going to catch y'all next time.